Guten Morgen. How are we? Welcome to episode number two of the Retribution Behind the Scenes. Today's a rest day. Gigi is coming down shortly. Just having a, a quick coffee. A proper shot. Not an espresso. Someone said, you want an espresso? No. Only for convenience. At the moment, I'm rolling out of bed. Clean. I just need my black coffee. Get out the door. But on a rest day, I'll take a little bit of time to, to enjoy some nice coffee. I am sorting accommodation for first the first show of the year, the FitX show. We are coming up to three weeks out, and I'm only about 0.7 key off target weight. Had some drastic changes with body comp and, and scale weight over the past couple of days, which has been fantastic. So uh, I'm just sorting my tanning and my my accommodation. I think I'll be traveling up Friday night. God knows what Cal has in store for me with regard to kind of peaking. If it's similar to Josh's, then it might be quite nice in the sense that we'll be loading prior to that. And then when I travel up, I'm not having to take heaps of food with me. And then on the day, it's just very much controlling controlling uh, hydration. But uh, yeah, and Joe's peaking, who, if you watched on Sunday, performed incredibly well. It was magnificent top 10 in his first pro show. I watched uh, both the morning or afternoon and evening show. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing, seeing what he does with, with myself. Today's a slightly different episode. We're taking you, we're like American, we're, we're taking you through a, a, a food shop. We've been granted access to Tesco. I say we've been granted access. I rang up and bullshit and said, I've spoke to head office and they said it's fine. So uh, I'm just going to get a few steps in, a few thousand steps in before Gigi gets here and then we'll shoot off. <laughs> Please remove your crash helmet. Get your crash helmet off, Gigi. Ladies and gents, welcome to episode number two of the Retribution series. Behind the scenes, we're taking you through a uh, a food shop, seeing what, what foods I'm buying at four weeks out. These bang these do on YouTube. That's why I've got Gigi with me today. Don't forget your mask. So we're getting in our food shop fasted today. So it's a good way to get that expenditure in, do the steps, come home, black coffee, and we go and do cardio. We'll start with Epsom salts. Now everyone's gonna comment, you can get them in bulk off Amazon for cheaper, but it's just a convenience for me. Convenience on prep is required. I go between the West Lab pink gin, your basic bitch pink gin. I can't, I can't go on bottomless brunches, so I just have pink gin at home. This smells really nice, but this one, Frankincense, bergamot, and CBD. If I soak in the bath for about half an hour, I'll get proper CBD does hit. Might just be, might just be prep and the bath in general, but. We'll go with the pink gin today. Cleansing, cleansing and revitalizing. Someone in the previous video asked about nicotine gum. No, I'm not, quit, I'm not quitting smoking. It's for appetite suppressant. So you have like a combination of nicotine gum and 5HTP, five, five maybe a black coffee. That's like the, one of the best stacks for appetite suppress, suppression I've found anyway. Ben Escrow, old type Ben, I miss you. Miss you. Start with the fruit. I mean, we're at this stage of contest prep now whereby 50 grams of organic blueberries is like six carb, and it's like, but I still think about the antioxidant and the, and the health benefits. But on a low day, for example, today is a low day, 100 grams of carbs. When I include my berries, my courgette, my pepper, I'm like, oh, fucking hell. So I have to really strip back on that. That's when like a greens powder, for example, can come in handy. But in terms of fruit at the moment, blueberries, I'm having uh, 50 grams of banana with my ghost peanut butter, this, this combination. This combination, ghost, peanut butter, cereal, milk whey, in oats, and then 50 grams of banana chopped up is just illegal. It's so good. So blueberries, banana, and then we come on to 
leafy greens. I think that's about it that we're running with. We're running with courgettes, baby leaf. I like baby leaf. Courgettes, baby leaf, peppers. So as you've probably seen with my like, Chinese stir fry creation, thinly sliced the courgettes, a bit more volume, peppers. And that's when I chuck the egg noodles in. But you'll see today the slight switch in carbohydrate choices over the past couple of days. Going for jacket potatoes. Whoa, 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 whoa. it's good two big jackets uh, and I'm, I'm like Phew. I'm full up so I split them one post workout one for dinner this is the yogurt of choice I say farge and it pisses people off even though it's pr pronounced fire fire Josh Josh Bridgman put up a Greek yogurt yesterday I think it was skir 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 it was like a skier yogurt. It did look quite nice, but I'm using I'm using 150 grams of the, of the uh, fire yeah? per hundred. This is uh, fantastic macros. Per hundred grams, free carb, ten protein. So you put a scoop of your whey in there. At the moment, I'm having the lemon cheesecake, which is unbelievable. I'm creating like a a kind of blueberry compote. So I'll put 50 grams of blueberries in the microwave, mix the lemon cheesecake, drizzle it on. the meat, the protein sources. It's a shame I don't do the organic, because when I used to shop in Sainsbury's, they had a really nice organic 5%. I know I should go to the butchers, or I'll just, again, it's convenience on prep. I want my bath salts, I want my meat, all in one place. I go home and I do my, I do my thing. But my rest day, so low days, it's when I'm kind of craving that, that fattier cut of meat. So on Wednesdays and Sundays is when we have our, our mints. So this evening, and Gigi said that high satiety. Gonna have a jacket potato and mince. And per jacket, it's about 40, 44 grams of carbs, which means I've got about 60-ish left. So a nicer, even spread of food throughout the day. But 5% is just because fats are at poverty, poverty fats at the moment, 40, 40 grams. And then in terms of other red meat, let's walk and talk, Gigi. Let's walk and talk. Do the uh, cameraman image stabilization walk. In terms of other, other meat, hex sausages are great. They just don't agree with me digest, digestive-wise. But what I have in the mornings is the medallions. If they've got them. Not rashers, streaky bacon. Where's the medallions? Bacon medallions. No, 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 I need the Tesco finest ones. These aren't the finest, only the finest. Co-op. Co-op unsmoked bacon medallions. I might just wait and go back to co-op, actually. Oh, here we go. Unsmoked Tesco Finest Wiltshire Cure. Even when you're, like, even when you're choosing your meats, eyeball, try and find the meats with the, with the least amount of white on there. Racist. Racist. Try and find, it's like this one is perfect. Hardly any fat on there. Good. More protein sources, we've got our prawns. Should probably get the raw prawn, I'll start getting the raw prawns. Again, I keep referring to convenience, it's just in there, bang. It's what you want at four weeks out. It's what you want. We haven't got onto like the haddock yet, just cause I'm gonna time thinning the skin, thinning the skin about two weeks out. That's when I want my skin to be really thin. So we got prawns, I have my chicken and prawns post-workout in about four or five grams of the El Paso smoky barbecue. A nice salad. And then we've got our chicken mini fillets. I just, the chicken mini fillets are just a far more even cook, I find. I don't like the big, I don't, I don't like the big breasts. Well, I fucking, I actually do. I do like the big breasts, but not the chicken breasts. I just think it's hard to, uh, hard to cook. So I go mini fillets all, all the time. I get through about 400 grams at the moment. 200 grams of chicken post-workout, 200 grams of chicken for dinner. 
bacon medallions, egg whites, and then before bed, I'll have my oats on my way. So that one pack, this is what I like about Seasonings on prep, muy importante. So a, a little tip for those that like having kind of pasta sauces, sometimes the Lloyd Grossman, even the, uh, the, un the Uncle Ben's uh, chili sauce, for example, is a little bit too high in, 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 in carbohydrates and fat. So you can kind of pull back on that and use like say 50 grams and then top it up with a, a passata. So with the, the tomato uh, with garlic and herbs passata, per 100 grams, 0.2 fat and 2.9 carb. So that's really good for kind of adding a little bit more fat flavor. And with the stir fry, I use the Flavor It Chinese marinade seasoning, which is just, it's so good. You only require like three or four grams. You use the juices from the meats and the prawns to kind of create that, that black bean stir fry sauce. The Wicked range is really nice. I grabbed a, a Wicked jalapeno and, and uh, I think it was like lime. So any, for when you're using red meat, lime, chili, jalapenos is really nice. Garlic is always good. So what I tend to do is add, to, to have some more flavor into the passata, I have the very lazy chopped garlic, which is great, absolutely fantastic. This is so tight, you can actually eat this by the, the, the spoon. It's, uh, it's very, very nice. That's about it on the seasoning front, obviously salt, pepper, the usual jazz. Sometimes I like to torture myself on prep. This is what I like about well in Tesco. Open, very airy, very bright, very clean. I like Homesdale Tesco as well. I make notes of these things, you see, like Nando's. Nando's Bromley's good. But I saw an advert the other day. The double salted... That's not even the one. Where's the one? It's the, it's the billionaire. Have they not got it? Temperature check. Ah, oh, it's not there. It was there the other week. It was like a, mil it was like a millionaire shortbread magnum double salted caramel. They've got all the flavors, the white chocolate. That's the first thing I'm getting, post-show. Domino's, Magnum, poached, poached Beckenham. Big up my boy Luke, represent. No to the cereal, I ain't got the carbs for the cereal. See you later cereal, see you soon. Oats. We're onto the oats. At the moment, at the moment, I'm having the sweet cinnamon. People keep saying that I should have these uh, moon flakes, which are supposedly slightly better macros. So per 100, 8.4 fat and 56 carb. Per 100, 6.6. .6. So this beats it on fat and 67, okay, so it's about nine grams less carbs, but then a little bit more fat. You all right? I think I spoke to her last week about the filming. Cheers, Mark, from head office. <laughs> there isn't no Mark. There is no head office. About 10 carb, fucking hell. 0.9 fat, six carb. So the rich tea is slightly more superior in a macro. I just, I, I, ain't, got, I ain't got nothing left. I haven't got, I just see 10 carb and think, nah, I'm not doing it. I know it tastes good. Even six carb, I think, nah, I'm not doing it. Oh, a ginger nut. Love a ginger nut. Oh, we need to get out of here, Gigi. My mouth's actually watering. This is a dangerous aisle for me, this is. Where's the bourbons? That's what I'm having, bourbons, magnum, dominoes. Fat sauces. This is for clients too that have just signed up to the Ibiza Classic that are asking for kind of uh, fat sauces. Dark chocolate, peanut butter, fattier cuts of meat and fish are great. Olives, cheese as well. Josh Bridgman, I I've never really seen it before and Joe explained to me the kind of, the reason as to why we would fat load prior to a contest and uh, having to kind of bump your fats up. Again, olives, duck. I was I was creating all these all these different meals for Josh, but uh, my go-to is the 90%. I love a 90%. I don't really love a 90%. I, I'm not. I don't because like, on off season I don't have it, but on prep I love it. Mm. 
This this wall has got me through prep. Old El first sponsored Old El Paso athlete, which sounds good. Squeezy guacamole, unbelievable. 15 grams, 1.3 carb, 0.8 fat, perfect. Thick and chunky salsa. I mean, these are just like salad toppings. Per 15 grams, 0.1 fat, 0.8 carb. It's a joke. It's an absolute joke. Chuck in some jalapenos. You know, you can get creative with these meals. We don't have to, I keep, I keep saying, we do not have to go down the bland route. Not with foods like this that have got barely any calories in. You know, you're not getting any extra points for not having these things. You're just going to run, run yourself into a fucking severe psychological issues. Post show is going to be a nightmare. Binge eating. It's just, it, we really need to highlight. We really need to highlight the importance of it. Especially with it being Mental Health Awareness Week. I think there's a, uh, you know, I, I really do believe we need to tackle certain, you know, misconceptions about foods. Again, smoky barbecue, this is what I have my chicken. Don't even need a lot. Like the serving size is uh, like 10 grams. I use four and that's two carb 0.1 fat. Hardly anything, 13 calories. So to actually enjoy food on prep. So like I said, this wall has been my savior. And then of course we've got the Uncle Ben's chili con carne sauce. And I only use a little bit. I use the hot. I use 50, I use 50 grams of the hot, which is 0.3 fat and four carb. And I just top it up with the, as I said, the passata. <laughs> Onto a winner. Now, as you know, I'm, I'm big into my bread. Constantly on the search for like a, my, my max is 10 grams of carbs per slice. Now the King's Mill 50, 50, no crust, it's, it's all right. It's the same as the uh, the other bread I was using, but the, it's like thin and feeble and weak. And you, like, I use Marmite. So you put Marmite, it just breaks. Enter Shah wholesome seeded loaf. Thick, stodgy, meaty. 10 grams of carbs. And it's two pound on club card. I feel like the woman in the advert, of the Tesco advert, with the, with the, with the card. She fucking goes right down. Two pound, brilliant. Honestly, highly recommend it. Well, I think a lot of the gluten-free stuff is slightly more favorable in terms of macronutrients and carbohydrates. Like the, what was I looking at the other day? It was like the tiger bread. That was 15 carb. I mean, I, I treat myself to a 15 gram carb slice. I really would. Seeded loaf. The thing is the seeded stuff is slightly higher in fat. So yeah, two fat and 11 carb, but that's not bad. It's quite a big slice. I miss the sourdough, man. The Tesco sourdough, oh, peanut butter, marmite. But yeah, carbohydrate sauce is pretty, pretty bleak at the moment. Bread, oats, jacket potato. And that's it. Harsh reality of prep. Do you not like it at all? Tell me you're on prep without telling me you're on prep. I put a knife in this and have it like a, an ice lolly. Look at that, get you going then. I mean, I haven't even got enough. I really want some peanut butter. I could fit it in, but I'm actually at that point, and I've said in my previous YouTube video, I was so close to binging the other day that if it's in the house and I just see that, I just think, so I just can't get it. I just have to, like, I just have to li not literally have it in the house. So. My fat sources are my meats and my dark chocolate, and that's pretty much it. But my, my what, what I've also started doing is I only get six eggs a day. So I have six 200 grams of egg white omelette. Why is my mouth watering today? It's the Marmite. So it forces me to go to the shop. So every morning, I'll go and get my six eggs. Because when I wake up, I go, oh shit, I've got to actually go and get expenditure in. So it takes me about 4,000 steps to get to Tesco, which is perfect. Little prep hack, little prep trick. Happy eggs. I usually have the uh, Clarence Colt, but again, no fats. And fuck spending two pound fifty. These are, hold on. 
Two pound? Oh no, one pound sixty-five. Oh, okay, no. I have to say, I've got to get the Clarence Court. They are superior eggs, them Clarence Courts. They're unbelievable. No jam, no, 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 no. Mmm, red wine. Should we talk about wine? Tell me some, Gigi's the wine man, you know. This is for you, kids, because I can't, I'm desperate for some red, I really am. I'd love some red. Cheese, meats. Gigi's recommended the Trilogy Malbec 2018 and Amarone. See, I like a 19, I like a, a 19 Crimes. I like a Rioja, Montepulciano. Oh. I've got a list in my head of what I want. I've got a list of what I'm having. I mean, my, my show's in four weeks and there's another show after, so I can't really go too mad. Josh went a bit mad post-show, but shh, don't, don't tell Cal. This is also very important. The squash. They've got a Ribena reduced sugar, but it's just, it's still got sugar in it. So uh, another prep hack, I, I got a soda stream. So you know what a soda stream is, it just turns like a squash into a fizzy. It's fantastic. So uh, I, switch up, I switch up my squashes. This week I'm after a, I'm after a peach. That's what I'm gonna go for this week. But I do treat myself each night to a glass of, uh, glass of fizz. The Fanta Zero Sugar Raspberry is unbelievable. It's so good, I love a bit of this. The Tesco Cream Soda. I've got Brightman on these. I've got Brightman on them, they're good. And the 7-Up Sugar Free is good. Anything sugar free. Whatever your preference, folks. But yeah, I'll just treat myself to one glass. 7-Up, mmm, 7-Up Free. Lemon, lime and cherry, that one is very good. That's it, we're pretty much done. And that will last me a few days, and we're back again. Let's go and pay. Thanks, mate. Cheers. Well, let's go.